Hello, this is Josiah Smith with MotionWorship.com, and today I'm going to be talking about motion backgrounds in PowerPoint. And, you know, a lot of people have asked me about this, and the short answer is that really motion backgrounds in PowerPoint do not work very well across multiple slides. Um, they're great for just using them one slide at a time, one video for one slide, but if you're trying to loop video and put text on top and go across multiple slides, it's really better to just use a worship presentation software like one listed on my site because the video is going to stop and it's it's not going to loop properly. It's going to restart every time you change slides. Uh, I'm going to show you today what exactly is going to happen. Now, first of all, you cannot use text on top of video in any version earlier than 2010. PowerPoint 2010 is the only version thus far that support that supports text on top of video. So if you have 2007 or 2003, don't even bother, it won't work. The video will always appear on top of your text, which is disappointing because you spend all this time putting your text on your video and then it just disappears. So don't even bother trying. If you have a, if you don't have PowerPoint 2010, you're gonna have to get PowerPoint 2010 to even do this. Uh, but as I'm gonna show you, even PowerPoint 2010 isn't the best choice. Okay, let's get right into it. Uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, I cannot set a background as a video. That isn't possible. If you try and format background, uh, I right clicked by the way, and you pick, uh, I mean, none of these options are video and, and picture is just that. It's, it sets the background as a picture. It won't give you the option to choose a WMV or an MP4 file. It only will give you the option to choose a picture. So you can't do it that way. The way that you do it is you uh, go to insert up here and then you pick video. And I'm going to choose this Vibrant Lines video here. It looks nice with text. And obviously we don't want a gigantic white border around it, unless you want that for some stylistic reason. But let's instead stretch it to fill the whole slide. Now I am covering up my text here, so I have to right click my video and hit Send to Back. Now at this point I should stop and mention something really quick, which is that it is possible to play a video and even to loop a video uh, on top of multiple slides. Uh, the way you do that is you select it, you go under animations, you choose play up here, and then uh, you go over to this teeny tiny little button here and click that. And then you can have it uh, continue playing. It's, it says stop playing after however many slides. So however many slides are in your song, you could make it continue playing. And then under timing, you have it repeat and you just tell it to repeat, say 10 times. That way it will just keep looping for, well, this video is 30 seconds. So that would be about five minutes. Now that seems great. I mean, that seems like exactly what we'd want it to do. But the problem is when you start adding slides here and you start putting text on them, this video is always going to show up on the top layer. So it's always going to cover up your text. It's going to start acting like PowerPoint 2007 again. So while you might have a video that loops and continues playing for multiple slides, it's going to cover up your text and end up not being very useful. So that is not really a good solution. Uh, moving on. Now I've got text that I can type on top of here. So let's put something in here. Uh, verse one text goes here. Verse one is a great verse. I really like it. Yeah. So that would be my verse one text and black doesn't look so great. I'm going to right click that and choose white text. Now that's looking pretty good. Maybe we'll move it up a little bit and yeah, great. And oh, the other thing with my video here is if I just run my presentation right now, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna do anything. So I have to select my video and go into playback. This playback appears and I want it to start automatically and then I want it to loop until stopped. So now if I look at what I've got, now I've got something pretty nice. Uh, it's a looping video. I got text on top of it. Wonderful. Just what you'd expect to happen. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you can uh, select your text, right click. We can format text effects here and add some uh, shadow. Uh, let's see. This is a nice looking shadow. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's add some shadow there. Let's make it a little less transparent, a little more blurry. Ooh, that's too blurry. Mm, 
Oh, look at that. No, 100% definitely. And a little more blur, a little less transparency. Close. Oh, look at that. That is some nice shadow. That's looking great. Okay. Now we're going to add another slide. I'm going to control C and control V or command if you're using a Mac. And now for verse two, let's put in some other text. This is verse two text. Verse two will really make you smile. I always like it myself. All right, so that's my verse two text. So what I would expect to happen is a nice transition between these two slides. Let's see what happens. I am going to run my show. I use F5 to run the show, by the way. And let's go to the next slide. Oh, that wasn't pretty. What happened was the, the video actually stopped and restarted from the beginning. And that is the big problem here with PowerPoint. Every time you change slides, bam, you're going to see a big ugly seam where your video is going to stop and restart and there is no way around that you cannot make the video continue looping in the background across multiple slides it is not possible so there is actually a way around this it gets a bit ridiculous but it, for those of you who want to try it i'll show you how it's done uh, what you have to do is you have to put all of your text on one slide which seems crazy uh, but it actually works. This is verse two text. The verse two is my friend. We get along well. Well, pardon my spelling. Okay, I'm going to drag that up into place over verse one. And then I'm going to control C, control V. I'm going to make another copy and we'll do... The chorus goes, ooh, chorus, chorus goes here. Uh, the chorus is big, very, very big. All right, so that would be my chorus text. We'll drag that up, and we just put everything right on top of the other. Now, doesn't that look pretty? I mean, really, it's beautiful. Um, th this is how it has to be done. I know it's wacky, but this is how you have to do it. Now... What we want to do is add animation. So we're going to animate this text all on the same slide. So I'm going to go to this Animations tab, and I'm going to Control-A, Select All. But I don't want the background, so Control-Click that. Now that's not selected. So now I have all of my text selected. And I need to add an animation. I'm going to add an Entrance Animation, which is a fade. And if I click Animation Pane right here, I can see I've faded in all my text. Now it's going to fade all in at the same time. I don't want that. I want it to start on click. So I right click and choose start on click. So now it is going to animate one at a time, but it's going to animate all on top of itself. So what I have to do is add another animation and that's going to be an exit animation, which is a fade out. So now I got all these fade outs. Now these we want to start with previous. And if you can follow me, I know this is confusing. But when this one, when, when the second text fades in, we want the first text to fade out. So I drag that in the order of the slides. I drag that right there. When the third text fades in, I want the second text to fade out. So this goes here. And then this one just fades the last text. So I guess we can start that on click. And that will be our last text. When the song is done, we can fade the text out. This is crazy, and it's confusing, and it looks bizarre, but it is the only way to do it. So if you really want to do this, knock yourself out. I would encourage you to get a presentation software uh, instead, but let's see if it works. F5 to run the show. All right, we have our looping background. The first text fades in. Let's go to verse 2. Verse 2 fades in. Let's go to the chorus. Chorus fades in and faded out at the end, and we're done. So as you can see... It did work, um, but like I said, it's a jumbled up mess. If you ever wanted to edit this, it would be a huge challenge. And you have to have all of your text in perfect order. All of these have to be in exactly the order that they're going to do the song in. And you better save that when you're done because you don't want to be recreating it every time you make a new song. So that's how it's done. Um, that is the, that, those are the challenges, the pitfalls of working in PowerPoint. 
Once again, I would strongly suggest you check into one of the other options, one of the worship presentation software options listed on my site. Thank you guys so much for uh, checking in, watching this video, and, and listening to me talk. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions or comments, or put a comment right below this video on the site if you have anything else to say. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Bye.